In this tutorial, I'll explain the static analysis of the cantilever beam using ANSYS workbench. This is the ANSYS workbench environment. This is the toolbox for solving static analysis. Separate module is there in ANSYS. For doing the model analysis, separate module is there. All the modules are available in this toolbox. Now, according to my problem, this cantilever beam problem comes under static structural analysis. That's why select static structural and drag and drop that here. Now give the problem name as a cantilever beam. Here different steps are available. To solve this problem, the first step is you have to set the engineering data. Setting engineering data means you have to select the material for this particular problem. So the cantilever beam is made of a phosphor branch. So I have to go for phosphor branch material. Default material library is available here. You can toggle by clicking here. So this is the total library, material library, general materials or something like this. Nonlinear materials are like this. Apart from these materials, we want to go for our own material to customize the new material. Go to the new material. Here my new material name is DB102. The problem description is cantilever beam. Now for this particular material, different properties I want to assign density. Double click on this particular density. Density of the material is 8.85 gram per centimeter cube. So here you select gram per centimeter cube value is 8.85 okay after that linear elasticity here you have to set the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio double click here then Young's modulus is 121 00 newton per mm square Young's modulus is 121 newton per mm square newton per mm square means mega pascal so this is 121.000. Poison's ratio is 0 0.27. Okay. Next, come to tensile strength. So strength, yield strength. I want to assign tensile yield strength is some 450 megapascal. Compressive yield strength is again same value 450 tensile ultimate strength is some 650 compressive ultimate strength is 650 okay these are the properties of this particular material now you can close this after assigning the material you will get the tick mark for engineering data if you don't assign any material, the default material is structural steel. Then go for a geometry step. In this step, we will create the model. So here you can go for new geometry or you can import the geometry from other softwares like SolidWorks or CATIA or ProE in the IGS format. So extension should be IGS. Now here I want to create the geometry in ANSYS itself. So go to new geometry for creating the geometry create the sketch for drawing the sketch you have to select the work plane now i select this particular yz work plane so yz you select then see in the normal direction like this by clicking here you can look at in the normal direction click here then you can clearly see the two dimensional sketch what you are drawing so go for sketching then here Select the rectangle, draw one rectangle like this. So roughly pick the corners. After that, you can assign the dimensions. Now go to dimensions, then click on general. Click here and here. This H1 value you can set here. This is in meters. Now I want to enter in millimeters because here all the dimensions are mm. Set the units as millimeter now enter this as 25 mm this is 25 mm okay now the geometry is ready now series from the isometric view 
this is our geometry next i want to turn this plane into a beam by giving the length as 1000 mm for that go for modeling now expand this particular yz plane then we will get the already drawn sketch here select this sketch then go to modeling tab here you will get the extrude option click on this extrude button then extrusion depth give us some thousand here after that click on generate now here you can use the on the graphic screen you can use this scroll wheel for zoom in zoom in and zoom out purpose or you can use the zoom in and zoom out commands here this is for panning after preparing this model the modeling part is completed that means geometry is kept. model means here geometry the geometry is drawn successfully now we can close this then again we will go back to this particular step now you can observe the tick mark here that means geometry is ready then next step is model in the model step we are going to give the constraints that means supports and we are applying the load here and the problem solving part also we will done in the model step only then click on edit this is the cantilever beam which we have prepared in the geometry step that is readily available here now select the solid and check the material assigned assigned material is structural sheet i want pb102 so select pb102 okay then go for mesh then here select sizing select fine mesh fine and click on update now mesh is ready then here go to statistics and check the number of nodes number of nodes is 2091 here our version is the educational version that's why we have limitation up to 32,000 nodes only so 2,000 nodes means is less than 32,000 that will be accepted otherwise we won't get the solution we will get some error message okay now meshing is over click on the static structural then we have to give the support and we have to apply the load the problem is something like this it is supported here here 1200 newton load is applied okay now we have to give the support at this particular phase now you click on the center button you click the center button and you can tilt it like this you can tilt it like this so that we can see this face now go to supports click on fixed support and click on this particular face here directly you can select the face because here selection mode is in the form of a face so directly you can select the face face is selected click on this apply now this is constraint now this is fixed now now again click here to see the isometric view like this now here at, on this particular on this particular edge we want to apply the point load then you go for edge selection like this then click on loads select force and this particular edge you select here define by in the form of vector is there now you take components now you will get x y z components you get now along y direction i want to apply 1200 newtons so y direction downwards i want to apply so minus 1200 newtons 1200 that is sufficient unit is default newton only okay. click on apply then on this particular edge 1200 newton force is applied on the downward direction okay now fixing this so is over applying the load here is also over now go to solution click on solve you got tick mark that means solution is ready once the solution is ready what are the different results you want to display here or you want to observe those stresses you have to select here i want to check the one mass stress select the one mass stress then you will get the one mass stress here right click on this and click on evaluate all results then all the results are displayed here that means maximum stress is indicated in the red color that is here 
this maximum stress value is 4.8 4.8 to 87 into 10 to the power of 8 pascals so that means 10 to the power of 4.8 to 87 into 10 to the power of 8 means divided by 10 to the power of 6 then you will get mega pascal 482 is the working in your stress in the form in mega pascals ultimate value is 650 so it is safe here you can observe the maximum and minimum values here you can observe the maximum and minimum values so this is the maximum value so this is below the ultimate tangential stress value that means the factor of safety is more than one if you want to get the factor of safety factor of safety is 650 divided by this 482 650 divided by 482 will give the factor of safety in that way you can get the factor of safety this is the static analysis of cantilever beam using hands work plane